Boats are made for Trent. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Welcome back, my pretties, to my terrible gameplays that I ever liked to record. Back in <clears throat> and those that Last time on this exciting Dragon Ball Z episode, we were stuck on this really stupid puzzle. With that being said, there was a spot that someone commented on my video that I missed, and apparently I walked right through it. Which, if it's the one I think they're talking about for this dumb puzzle, it would be the cave right around here, I think. Uh. Already then, not there? Where is it? Hmm. No, now I gotta find the cave. I apparently helped them figure everything else out. They helped me find the cave that I was missing. Or I didn't miss it, I went into it. It's just, um. I didn't do. The part I was supposed to. Yay! Did you just die already? Like, I don't I don't need all these extra fights, damn it! And the finishing glove. Die. I'm gonna watch it die. Just like that. My free chest. Where the hell was that puzzle at? So essentially, I'm mainly just running around looking for a hole in the wall, which I think is right here. And in here, I'm supposed to. Yep, there's a pattern. So. Get out of here, that weak shit. Come on, we can do it. Okay. So two, three, one, two, one. I kind of forget I have the like, damn camera. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. Even though I can remember that one, two, three, one, two, one. So this one would be one. This one should be three. Let's see how good my memory is. This one should be three. It's already set there. This one should be two. Sorry to sit there. Then over here should be 
two and then one. I feel like flying stand must doesn't degenerate as fast anymore as it used to. Even using the heavy character. Maybe they removed the whole height and weight aspect of the game. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I know your stamina regenerates when you're out these up now. Oop. This should be two. And then this one should be one. Now that should solve my annoying puzzle. Now we can get on with the new event that he added. I think I actually unlocked all the events. Now. Let me see. Okay, cool. So yeah, I've unlocked everything now. I can do them all. Cool. All right. So Did it. Yay. Give me all my pimmigrimigrims. What I am talking about. That was worth it. Although it drove me slightly crazy, it was worth it. All right. Well, I'm going to turn my camera off so we can jump right into this and we can see what's going to happen. I got a lot of explorations due um, here, which I might just record myself doing it while talking to friends. Dun, dun, dun. How's everybody doing, hmm? You all doing well? Oh, that's right. You, it is just stupid. You gotta literally stand here in the area and rest. <sighs> Forgot this part. There you go. So I just start cutscene. My big si uh, 
<clears throat> Master Jean said that this whole situation is more than we bargained for. Even if it feels like a vacation destination, our primary objective is to protect everyone. For safety, we changed back into our original clothes. I guess it does dampen the summery feel a little. Well, that certainly takes the fun out of things. <sighs> back to work already, ladies and gentlemen. You're too kind. Actually, I think we could learn a lot more from your talents. That's why we can place so much trust in you. We didn't want to wake you, but I noticed some white smoke coming from one of the other islands. I think it'd be best if we went and investigated it together. It must be Doro King! <sighs> Even Paimon's starting to believe that this Doro King might actually show up. I'm also keen to lay eyes on this so-called Dodo King. All of you, follow me. Let's investigate. I don't wanna. You can't make me. I mean, I can't. Where am I going? How far can I glide? Let's see. I'm lazy. Too lazy to go get my boat. No, I actually might make it. Well, to a point. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person like, I don't want her chest! Damn it! <laughs> This one's like so easy to tell what you're supposed to do, literally. I might as well take this chest, this one's obvious as hell. But... Oh, well, that's interesting. That is super interesting concept. Never mind, it wasn't that easy. He shoots. He still misses. How do you do this one? You know what? Crumble. Why don't we cheese it? Okay. There we go. Why didn't that work to begin with? That's so weird. Whatever. The game just wanted to troll me. Because I said it was easy. Deluke. No! Turn around! Look! There are two figures over there! It's Deluke. Mm. Huh? Kane. We'd run into you here. An unexpected pleasure. What are you two doing here? Huh? So it's not Dodo King? Hmm. Dodo King. Huh. So it was Dodo King that invited you to these islands. What a coincidence. What do you mean? I'll get to that. But first, I want to enjoy some more of this island sunshine. Master D. Luke might actually get a tan. Wait, did you two sail here? How did you get past the storms and fog? Storms and fog? We must have gotten lucky. When we arrived, there wasn't a patch of fog in sight. 
Now it feels like I'm on vacation. But as you know, a boat wouldn't have made it over. We had no choice but to use the same method of transport you did. Huh? You mean Devalin carried you here too? You seem surprised. Dragon flights are a fairly conspicuous affair. Eye-catching, one could say. Wait, so everyone found out that I... It would seem that people noticed a dragon, but not necessarily the cargo. Still, word spread quickly that a dragon was in town. Oh, thank goodness. Who knew that everyone's favorite bard had the power to summon dragons? I guess Devalin must be a die-hard fan of classical ballads. <laughs> I... I assume you two traveled here together? <laughs> you assume? The acting Grandmaster's jokes have improved of late. Do we seem like fitting travel companions to you? <laughs> there were actually two others that arrived with us on the island. They wandered off for various reasons. Various reasons? Let's just say that big egos aren't conducive to team cohesion. <laughs> An incisive observation. Nothing ever gets past the honorary knight. So, who were the two others? Albedo and Razor. Huh? Albedo and Razor? <laughs> Yay! Don't tell us you all came here for a vacation. Wait, Kaya, if you're here, who is overseeing the Knights of Favonius? The mighty librarian Lisa, of course. Not to worry. In some ways, she's stricter than either of us. Any evildoers in Mondstadt need to watch out for the next several days. Thankfully, Lisa's there. Um, where did Albedo and Razor go? Also, what was that white smoke I just saw? Ah, uh, yes, that. I should start with how we ended up here. We arrived by Dragon, but as soon as we entered the island's vicinity, something caught Razor's eye. He jumped straight off of the Dragon's back and vanished into the ocean. We worried that he'd be in danger, so we also leapt off the Dragon and glided onto this island. But as you can see, this is but a deserted land. Based on previous experience, I decided that it would be best to wait for contact. While D. Luke believed that Razor wouldn't return to find us. During our little dispute, Albedo quietly disappeared on us. Hold on! How come he was able to walk off, but you two are stuck here? <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps we're fated to be doomed to I hate the way he talks. Right, Master D. Luke? Yeah. Is that so? Albedo is an alchemist and skilled at his craft. If I could use those beautiful artificial flowers of his, it would be a simple affair to traverse these islands. For some reason, I remember that our initial landing zone was the island over there with the higher mountains. Only at your insistence did we change course and land here. Oh my, but your footsteps melted the water that I took such effort to freeze. Who made Cryo and Pyro so incompatible? If you had a geovision, I'd be long asleep on one of the other islands. Oh, so what I saw earlier was just steam from vaporized water? Pyron still can't tell if you guys are really close or hate each other's guts. Uh, regardless, things seem to be livelier now, which is good. Yes, it is a boon to have extra allies in an unknown situation. You two, please join our travels. Sure. But of course. Our top priority is to find Albedo and Razor. Do you know which direction they went? For now, it's impossible to locate Razor. As for Albedo, he went that way. Then there's no time to lose. Let's go look for him. Yeah, I want it. Well, at least it's to an island I've already been to, so I can teleport there. Since I kind of screwed up, left my boat. Oh, conch. I'm confused. Where the hell is it? Did I miss it? Some of these conches are like impossible to fucking see. Yeah. 
What am I doing? Just break the damn shit. Okay. As long as we stay on this course, following the waves, we just need one good, strong gust of wind. Well, as it happens, the wind direction changes in quite a unique way when the moon rises at this time of the year. Really? Are you sure? Yep, I know the winds in these seas like the back of my hand. Uh oh. Alrighty then. I'm just gonna teleport. Climbing sucks. There's another conch over there. There it is. The tides are getting higher by the year. If the water level rises much further, we will stand very little chance of survival. There's no other choice. I must tell everyone to pack up their belongings and move to higher ground. Mother! What's wrong? The tide reached us, so I told everyone to run and get to higher ground. But the family heirloom... I'm sorry. It was a choice between that and getting everyone to safety, so I... I didn't have enough time to get it. It's right in the center of the island. If the water recedes some time, or if someone gets in from outside, we'll just have to get them to find it for us. Okay. Is that it there now? I think I got a bunch of side quests now. Maybe. Of course, but see. This island is really big. Where could he be? Mr. Albedo? Albedo, come out! Hmm? Is that the Traveler and Paimon? No. everyone. Hello, Klee. I thought that we might convene around this time. I trust you enjoyed your stroll. How kind of you to maroon us on that neighboring island. Oh, please don't mention it. I felt that the two of you could do with some alone time. Albedo, why did you come here? I received a letter. On the way over, the four of us shared what we knew. A mysterious letter appeared outside each of our doors. They were all signed Dodo King. Anyone else find it hard not to crack a smile when Master D. Luke says Dodo King? Everyone's <laughs> He's got a point. And yet all of them drew us to this archipelago. My letter was very simple. I have Klee. If you wish to see her, come to the Golden Apple Archipelago. Oh, that's blackmail! Dodo King's trying to coerce you! Correct. It would appear that I have been successfully coerced. My letter was similarly straightforward. Among the deserted islands, you will find a sunken pirate ship. Within lies great treasure and long-lost antique vases of incredible rarity. <laughs> it would appear that someone came to learn of the circumstances surrounding the eye patch that my grandfather left me. Classic Kaya. Does anyone have a clue what he's talking about? Anyway, so what's your story, D-Luke? 
There is an Abyss Order stronghold among the deserted islands. Make haste. You have to admire their strategy. The right bait for the right fish. So strange. They're all personalized. But why did Dodo King gather everyone here? Let's throw down. This is indeed a mysterious case. I never trusted the letter to begin with. Yes. It would appear that the grown-ups among us came here primarily to understand what was behind the curtain. Uh, didn't Razor get a letter too? He did, though he couldn't read it. A certain kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman that he encountered on the way over was able to relay the contents to him. A kind-hearted, cat-eared gentleman? On the way over? Oh, Paimon knows, Paimon knows! It must be Draft, right? The content of Razor's letter was no more complex. The Red Bernie girl has gone to the islands. She needs help. Having heard the contents of the letters, it became abundantly clear that something wasn't right. I don't believe this so-called Dodo King exists. But there is someone or something with a reason for luring us here together. No, no! Dodo King is real! He's... he's Dodo King! <sighs> If you say so. Something caught Razor's attention on the journey over, or he wouldn't have leaped from the dragon's back. I've examined this island. His footprints are nowhere to be found, and there's no sign of a boat having left. Based on our position and bearing when he made the jump, if he didn't land here, then he must have made his way over there. That platform. You've already been there? We were there a few days ago. There was a mysterious machine. Jean said that it came from Inazuma. Hmm. Could that be what caught Razor's attention? Everyone, let's head to the central platform. I don't wanna. Why is there dead hanging body? Oh no, those ain't hanging bodies. Oh my god, I didn't kill off the entire group. Oh, cool. That's neat. Neat concept. Not right into that. <laughs> hey, do you hear that? That sound means the tide is coming in any second. We have to get to the top of the mountain. Here, climb up this vine. Go. Well, that was kind of straightforward. Teleport to that island. Yeah. Cool. Do I get to fight the thing yet? Look, over there! Razor! Everyone, I am here. Razor, are you okay? Are you hurt? Do you need healing? No need. Okay. I smelled something. This, give to you. What's this? Is this a part of the machine? Clear smell. Same as letter. Hmm. Razor did mention that his letter had a peculiar smell. You sure have a great sense of smell, Razor. Oh, did Dodo King factor that in too? Also, this one and that one? <laughs> Same smell. Oh. This thing? Put inside metal person. Same. Here. Yes. I don't understand how. Traveler is clever. Razor trusts. Yeah, Klee trusts the honorary knight too. Not so fast. We need to think this through. What will happen if we reinsert the missing component? This Inazuman machine could well be something that Dodo King left here for us to find and activate. Might reawaken Dodo King himself. Then we will be ready for him. Honorary Knight, prepare yourself. We really wanted to meet Dodo King. That's why we came here. Shut up, Paimon. I want to fight him. <sighs> All right, am I prepared? As always, do this. Wait. Did Yay! This is order. 
He's gonna die really fast though. Something up. What are you doing, woman? Jesus Christ! Charge attacks up, dick on um wind users. I mean claymore users. Hey, appreciate that. You take it. this. There you go. Finally. Look, what's that? Are those crystals? Oh, let's hope your faith in me is not misplaced. Before we get to the crystals, well, why don't we start with the machine itself? Our previous conjecture was correct. This giant in Inazuman attire is a machine modeled on the human form. Was it built for fighting? Like ruin guards? I'm afraid so. It possesses significant combat capabilities and seems to be autonomous. But for it to attack us indiscriminately like this, I believe it must have been damaged some time ago. Its outward appearance confirms its Inazuman origin. But, as far as I know, Inazuma is still under the Sakaku Decree. How could such a massive piece of offensive weaponry have found its way here? It seems the answer to that question disappeared with the people that used to inhabit this archipelago. People? I'm sure the shrewdest among you have already come to the same conclusion. These deserted islands bear signs of human activity. I would go so far as to infer that this archipelago once held a human population. They were most likely visitors from elsewhere, not indigenous to the islands. They may have spent a long time here before finding a way to return home. Since then, the island has been empty, with only a few scattered remnants of the past. As for the crystals... Hmm... They've been manufactured from a particularly rare type of ore. Transparent. I believe they must have a specific function. We found a pile of stones and small flowers nearby. Do you think there's any connection? That sounds like someone wanted to commemorate the machine. Yes, I had a look at it myself. Uh, how can I put it? It almost feels like someone left a heartfelt offering of gratitude. Hmm. I see. What about the rest of you? Who do you think would want to commemorate a machine in this way? Perhaps someone who was truly grateful. Only people that had benefited directly from the machine would leave a memorial like this. If the machine coexisted with that first group of humans, then the memorial isn't so hard to understand. Of course, this is only a hypothesis. Coexisted? You mean before it became damaged? Hmm, I wonder what exactly happened to it. Hmm. Dodo King. There is a Hilicho presence here. Perhaps this machine's indiscriminate attack is actually supposed to be targeted at Hilichos to protect the inhabitants. An unlikely coincidence, I would have thought. In any case, this is all speculation. If we want to get to the bottom of it, we'll need more evidence. Yes, though we don't have any clues to go on, we should sweep the area again soon. But first, let's focus our attention on the problem at hand. Look, another letter! It must be Dodo King! A letter? Quick, read it! Mysterious Dodo King, mysterious Dodo King. He sleeps alone on the southwesterly isle. The bad child made him wait too long. The days grow dark, the stars are rising. Greedy spirit, greedy spirit, you made the moon run a ring. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish, the secret lies here. 
Do you dare to proceed? More cryptic riddles? It wasn't that hard. Bring the damn crystals to the to the location and put them in, and you open the pathway. Yeah. And also, Southwesterly Isle? Now, which island would that be? I'd say it's about time we went and investigated instead of standing here making wild guesses. We've looked all over these islands, but there's nothing interesting here. There is two. The island over there is really weird. It has a big, huge, round thingy on it. Clee, did you go off by yourself without authorization again? Oh, sorry. I just wanted to go for a walk. As long as you didn't activate any mechanisms. <sighs> Even if it seems completely empty here, it's easy to run into danger when you're by yourself. Klee, next time you want to go anywhere, please tell me first, okay? We'll go together. How does that sound? I thought Master Jean is always busy with other things. You really mean it? Of course. This is kind of lame. Okay. I understand this storyline is supposed to be about the Dodo King, but it's it's kind of really stupid. Kaya, <laughs> my apologies, acting grandmaster, honorary knight. Let's go and take a look. I don't know. It just it just seems kind of drug out a little bit. Hey, look at that. Man, they're just adding story to drag it out. I'm, I'm glad I finally got to freaking fight him. Damn it. Makes me happy. Warm my soul. Can I fight him again? No? Okay. I don't understand how they don't know what southwest really is when it says it on my mini map that it's north is north and this is southwest. Not doing this right. Okay, whatever. I don't understand why I'm stuck. I didn't do something right. Now it gives me a cutscene. Whatever, game. Huh? Is this a shield? Hmm. Doesn't look very solid, though. 
seems like some kind of energy shield. Careful, all of you. Don't touch it. It might send us flying for all we know. Hmm. Big shield, big shield. <laughs> Klee knows you're in there. Well, shut you up, Klee. It's me, Klee. Come out I really, me. really don't like her voice. No answer. Hmm. I thought I like Paimon's more than. Feels like they messed up the microphone when she spoke in some of her speaks. Like this is the first time she's spoken that she sounds normal. It's such a huge energy shield. There must be some reason for it to be here. Yeah, the, the fucking thing pillars over there. I agree. An energy shield needs an energy source. If we can find the connected device. Oh god, they gotta deduce every fucking thing in these cutscenes. I forget that. Look for any potential devices in the vicinity. Ready? Klee, walk. Uh, don't run. Come on. You don't want to finish last place, do ya? Let's go. I already know where the stupid things are. Can't touch it. Yeah. Now they're going to sit there and contemplate it for 20 minutes. Shield. Three devices in total. And look, the light converges in one place. Albedo, are we able to deactivate the shield from here? Hmm. These light emitting devices each have a small frame in front of them. Looking at the shape here, it seems like something is supposed to be fixed in place. What shape is that? Um, I don't get it. Someone explain. An oblong circle. Fan shaped, I suppose. Hmm, what could it be? The fucking gems that you got, god darn it! Shape as a seashell, perhaps? But all the shells we've seen were either bigger or smaller than this shape. God, this is so fucking shell. stupid. It's got to be huh, a fish scale. A fish scale? But why would we want to put a fish scale there? Are there any other clues around? I'm not enjoying this event anymore. Just... Placing it into the frames in front of the light emitting device, which means right. I've never seen anything like this. We just got them. So that's what oh my God! If I'm not mistaken, this is a very particular type of installation. Light is integral to its function. I've seen similar designs elsewhere. The light has to meet certain requirements or emit on a specific path. The mechanism is only activated if the light conditions are met. Oh, shut the fuck up, Deluke. These three installations are the keys to activating the energy shield. And would you look at that? The light being emitted is white, but the installations themselves each have their own color. Red. Holy shit, you just realized that? I've already noticed that. Just like letter. Keys of three colors guarded by a strange fish. Huh, that's right. Honorary Knight, didn't that big machine we just defeated drop something? Light red like flower petals, light blue like ocean waves. No, it dropped oh, shit. It pooped all over the floor. Looks like Seriously, like, might be the holy crap. Like, when they were making this event, did they go fucking retarded with it? Spirit in the sea. Huh, is that what we have this is irritating. If my understanding is correct. Huh. Honorary Knight, I suggest that you place the crystals in the sea. Oh God. I believe that this greedy spirit is most likely an ocean-dwelling fish. If the crystals do attract it to us, then we're a step closer to obtaining our fish scales. So that's the plan. In that case... Paimon's got something to say. On the way over, Paimon saw a huge conch shell with lots of fish swimming around it. Bring me up when it's done. If we're placing the crystals in the sea, then surely that's the best place to do it. Plus, the water is pretty shallow over there. It'll be easy to get the crystals back if the plan doesn't work. It will work. Don't jinx it. Okay, okay. It'll they spent work. too much time in the dumb dialect of this shit to make it last longer than it needs to. Don't follow Paimon, please, for the love of fucking god.
I don't need a 300 page deduction on how we're supposed to place fucking rocks into the water. Put it another way, we're going to be here all night. <laughs> Catch fish. Eat. Yeah, yeah. Let's go fish blast. Yeah, I'm, I'm game for some fish blasting. Hold on, Clee. Will Master Jean come too? Jean said if Clee wants to go anywhere, she must tell Jean. And then we can go together, right? Uh, yes, I did say that. <sighs> all right, then. Time to go fish blasting with Clee. Uh, is Paimon hearing things? Jean and Clee are gonna go fish blasting? It's way worth it. The fish will taste so good. This is a deserted island, so explosions shouldn't trouble anyone. It's just a bit of relaxation, right? Find some fish! Find some fish! Let's go! There! Mini fish! Clee's gonna get there first! Wait! Wait! Well, there they go! Well, if Razor is going, then I suppose it's fine. Once everyone is settled in, I will go after them. Is it time for a break already? Fantastic. I was just thinking about taking a stroll. Meaning, you're off on another pirate treasure hunt? <laughs> Who knows? These are big islands. There are bound to be more than a few secrets hidden away. Captain Kaya's on the case. Ugh. Master D. Luke, aren't you interested in pirate treasure? Hardly. I'm more interested in peace and quiet. Paimon doesn't think you'll settle for nothing to do. Amuse yourselves however you see fit. I'm taking my leave. For a bunch of grown-ups, they really can't sit still for more than a few seconds. So restless. At least Albedo's able to sit and enjoy the... Huh? Albedo! Albedo said that he wanted to spend some time alone painting. Jeez, what's up with everyone? Seems like we're all overdue for a vacation. It's not often that we get a taste of island living. I'm not surprised that everyone wants some time to themselves. Everyone should enjoy the break while it lasts. I'll convene everyone when the fish arrives. <sighs> I suppose we have let our focus drift a little. But at the end of the day, you can't deny that this ocean view really is something. Traveler, make sure you take a little time to enjoy yourself, too. No, I... I was just... <sighs> what I mean is, I hope you enjoy yourself here. No matter what is waiting for us down the line, I will protect everyone. No, you won't. Especially I will protect everyone. This is my duty as the acting grand You won't do shit. You suck as a character. That's Jean for you. Always reliable. Traveler, thank you. It is nice of you to see. Yeah, I so. would tell you you suck donkey dick, but I you know, I'm, I don't get to pick that choice. Peace and happiness on this beach. I'd have peace and happiness as everybody didn't talk twenty years about every little damn thing. Care. I just need to go beat him a bunch of times. I'm gonna go whoop his ass. Yeah! Oh, wait, can I only do it once a day? Ah, let's go whoop his ass! With my challenge right here. Yo, bro, bro. How you doing? How you doing? I heard you talking shit about my mama. I'm beat your ass now. I like that he increased in level. It's great. Yeah. 
You missed. I condemn you. Stabilize. You missed. Yeah, you beg. Who's your daddy? Crush. Shudder. Hey, who's your daddy? You missed. Sorry. Dude, you lost all your HP in like two hits, and you dead, bruh. What I get for this? Tails the core for. Is that like an item you can use for turn ins? Visibility is excellent. If we had. Higher. No. Oh, I got one more time to beat him. I'm done. Ugh. <sighs> So what are those cores for? We can do a full recon of enemy activity in the air. Can they craft an item for the new character or something? Who's crafting an item? Here they are. Oh, so it must be the new item for character. Oh, okay. It's like a character ranking up. Well, that's neat. More speed. We'll fight him one more time, and then it's going to be a wrap for this. Give him a conch here. Strange com component. Razor hungry. Hungry for fish. Why do I have one for him? And on the right, more water. I'm confused. Let me, let me try to teleport down here. I'm waiting a minute. Maybe then, and only then. Dun, 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 dun. How's everybody? My name is is Elmer Fudd. I just realized there's dandelion seeds. I need those. Oh, there's more conscious here? Oh wait, I haven't been here yet. I don't want to explore this yet. I wanna go fight the bulbs. Give you a respawn. He did. My last time fighting him. What's up, bruh? Stabilize. I don't have the character yet, but I could farm all of these off here. 
You know that, right? You're not even that hard. I thought you would be harder than this. He didn't take no damage. Beat him up. Oh, so when it actually hurts him. I didn't think it did. A little weird. Booyah. Give my boss rewards. That I don't need. That's that. That's a wrap. Alright. Well, next time I record, I'll do the, uh, the last event. And then we'll go from there. Probably go ahead and grind all this entire area out. Do the last event thing. So far, it's pretty fun. That was pretty good. Thank you for watching, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. I will say, I'm not a big fan of Klee's voice. I noticed that at some points, it sounds like she's screaming into the microphone, or the microphone isn't connected properly, so it sounds like she's picking up like an echo, for me at least. And um, right at the end there, you felt that... Um, the voice the problems were fixed so i don't know if they know that it's doing that or if it's an ongoing trend and that's how they recorded it at first i don't know aside from that these quests are annoying the first two are great this one was just them rambling on trying to figure out puzzles when it just seems really simple to figure out i mean I, why am i sitting here constantly telling the gene i'm proud of her dedication to her job i mean I, it's like every five fucking minutes i'm telling her that come on man you, you got great potential stop wasting it on bullshit dialect dialogue whatever you want to call it so much potential i mean god i get it you want good dialogue in this game but if this is an event we keep getting reminded that Klee wants to fight the Dodo King every five minutes. Every every two minutes on that one. Gene's reminding Klee not to run off every minute. Don't do this. Don't do that. Well, we got to do this. We got to do that. kind of ruins the event, man. Honestly, I'm glad there's only four parts to this event. Because if I had to do any more than that, I might just shank somebody. Anyways, have a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.